And then we assign them um, labels from zero. Andrew Sue is one of America's rising young scientists. His mathematical equations are designed to enhance the performance of internet communications and social networking sites like Facebook. Our project has potential to improve the efficiency of such, ne of such networks. And um, this is important. Uh, as networks are becoming increasingly larger and larger, um, improving efficiency could mean um, sa um, saving costs. Andrew and 19 other high school students are finalists in the Siemens Foundation annual math, science, and technology competition in Washington. Each of the contestants hopes the judges will decide that his or her project is the most innovative and scientifically important. John Solder invented ways light can be used to treat people with brain injuries and disorders like Alzheimer's. And you have a fiber optic cable coming into the prefrontal cortex, which is where I was studying disorders such as Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's disease. These light sensitive channels within the neuron itself, and then using the light, you can stimulate those very specific neurons and help restore the function of the brain that you've lost. 17-year-old Cassie Kane and Ziwan Lu won top honors in the team competition. They're sharing a $100,000 college scholarship for their bioengineering project. They discovered how an inexpensive motion sensor and the popular Xbox 360 video gaming console can be used to improve the gait or walking movements of amputees. So what we're really hoping to do is to get this affordable and portable and accessible system to the public, to rural areas where they don't have access to million dollar gate labs. Julia crowley Ferranga and her teammate won third prize for their research on how galaxies evolve. Julia wants to inspire more young people to follow in her footsteps. I uh, work with third graders after school for science projects and it's really cool to see them and then to you know hope that they'll go into science in high school so I think it's about getting uh, getting science into the minds of kids at a young age. This year's highest individual science honor and a $100,000 scholarship went to Angela Zhang for her research on how cancer cells stimulate the growth of tumors. Now she and the other winners in the Siemens Foundation competition are well on their way to driving tomorrow's breakthroughs in science and technology. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Washington. So how long did you work on this project? Um, this was a six-week project.